Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Knights of the Old Republic. Alrighty, when we left off, we had gotten through a crystal cave, killed a lot of Kinrith to get through it, but we got a couple crystals, and one of them is a color I really wanted. And we killed a lot of Kinrath and Cathhounds to get to where we currently are. Right now, we are in the middle of a murder investigation. And we are acting as the detective in this given situation. So, uh, as it stands right now, we are in the middle of figuring out who did the murder. Who done it? You know, that sort of thing. Uh, we have found out both the suspects currently have been lying their asses off. And as it stands, we're now figuring out about the murder weapon. How and or why we've already more or less figured out. Uh, we discovered significant motive on both sides. We've discovered that Handon had his wife cheating on him with Calder. Calder was business partners with Rickard. Apparently, there was a drunken altercation with Rickard at some point that points to some sort of shady business deals or something going on. There's no way to tell yet. We shall see how this turns out. Now, uh, we're going to talk to the information droid again to have any extra info in the back pocket should we need it. Is there any other information you need? Uh, tell me about the weapon you found at the scene. We cannot get any more specific analysis from that sample other than the fact it did not belong to Cobra. Is there any other information you need? From the sample. I'm assuming the sample of blood from the weapon. Okay. Fair enough. Very well. I will be here to assist you. Okay, so the blood did not belong to Calder. Apparently, the blood was on the weapon. Let's talk to Rickard. So, what do you want to know? Uh, what about the weapon you found by the body? That blaster? Never seen it before. Calder himself had a preference for Ichani weaponry. Okay. He had his one really nice light blaster rifle that he always used. Always wished I could get myself a rifle like the one he had. That blaster ain't it, though. Calder only had the one rifle, too. So he either must have borrowed that, or it's someone else's. Okay. Considering he's the business partner, he would have known enough to recognize that. Fair enough. Right. That's all for now. So. Handon. Handon. I'll you further Hendon. assistance. What do you know about the weapon you found by the body? That blaster was stolen from my house last week. I never knew what happened to it. I hardly have enough huh. money to afford a single blaster, let alone another. That's I yours. Can't tell you how important it is to have a weapon on hand with all these ravenous calf hounds around. Even an Eries can take a man down if it gets in the mood. Every settler has a weapon. It's our most prized possession. I would most appreciate it if I could have that back after you determine that Rickard is the killer. How can I be a further assistance? You, you, you like, uh, you like pointing the ficker, ficker, finger at Rickard. That's where my brain was going. Uh, you're holding your side. Are you injured? In injured? No, of course not. Why would I have been? Fit as a bathtub. <laughs> I run. I don't know if I mentioned it. Uh huh. That's all for now. Of course. Of course. Listen, if you need anything, I shall be glad to assist. Sure. I'm going to talk so, to Rickard again. Do you want to know? Uh, you were Buluk, uh, Buluk, Buluk. How have I been pronouncing it thus far? I think I've alternated through both. Uh, John, I'm, uh, Knight said you were limping. Are you hurt? Well, I kind of sprained my ankle running through the bush before I found the body, but it's nothing that serious. Okay. Right. Fair enough. Information yeah, droid. Information we need. Uh, is there a report of Handon's blaster being stolen? I am sorry, but I seem to be failing you. 
I have searched and searched, but I cannot seem to come up with anything at all. I thought to find hmm. the record of the missing weapon report. Mr. Gould filed with the authorities, but there does not seem to be one. Is there so, any other information you need? He didn't file a weapon report saying that it's stolen. Which is A, irresponsible as all fuck, and B, puts doubt on his story. So the weapon you found at the scene, the blood was... Did any more specific analysis from that sample, other than the fact it did not belong to Cobra? Is there any other information All right. Sounds good. Sounds good enough. How can and I then, assistance? Okay. Nothing course, more right now, I guess. Let's talk to Buluk. Or Boluk. 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 Eventually I'll get the name right. Uh, yes, is there something I can do to help you in this investigation? I want to discuss more about the murder. So, what have you determined about the weapon found by the body? Uh, okay, the technically he never reported it stolen, so it's more the first one. The blaster is Handon's. He didn't. He actually lied about it being stolen. So we have caught Handon in a lie. Interesting, but I think we may need one final piece of the puzzle. There was a blood sample on the weapon that had been sent back to analysis just before you arrived. Perhaps you could inquire with the information droid about it. If there is anything else you need, I will remain here while you question the witnesses. Alright. Uh, tell me about the blood sample. I have just received back an analysis of a sample of the blood found on the weapon. It had been sent back to the Enclave just before you arrived. Right. The blood on the weapon is definitely not Cobra's. Unfortunately, there was a bacterial contaminant in the sample that had been taken back to the laboratory. And it had become degraded. We I see. Get any more specific analysis from that sample other than the fact he did not belong to Cobra. Is there any other information you need? I see. So the blood wasn't his either. Very well. I will be here to assist you. And someone apparently had been holding their side, not in the animation, but apparently in the story, the entire time. Whereas Rickard has only had a twisted ankle. Oh, Luke. Is there something I can do to help you in this investigation? I want to discuss the murder further. I assume the blood on the weapon belongs to the victim, but I want to be thorough. What have you learned about the blood on the weapon? It didn't belong to the victim. That is surprising. So the blood must belong to one of his suspects. But which one? It's Handon's blood. Why do you believe that? Well, I mean, he's been clutching his side the entire time. Hmm, Hendon has been moving oddly since I arrived. Perhaps we should examine him a little more closely. Hey, 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 what are you doing? There is blood. Hendon appears to have suffered some sort of blaster wound to his side. It would seem there is only one logical scenario. Hendon killed Calder for having an affair with his wife. Rickard was out hunting and accidentally shot Hendon after he had killed Calder. They are both guilty. A bold conclusion. One most people would not arrive at. But we are not like most people. We are Jedi. Still, I would like to know how you came to this conclusion. We know Calder was having an affair with Hendon's wife. But what possible motive could Rickard have for wanting Calder dead? <laughs> he was also having an affair with Hendon's wife. <laughs> no. Rickard thought Calder was cheating on him. Cheating him in business, rather than cheating on him. He was cheating... There was cheat. There was a lot of cheating. <laughs> there was a lot of cheating going on. That's that's the general gist of the story. There was a lot of cheating. Uh, Rickard thought Calder was cheating him in business. Yes, well done. Both men had a reason to want Calder dead. This is my theory of this morning's events. Both men knew Calder would be out here this morning, and each plotted to kill him. Hendon found him first and shot him because of the affair Calder was having with his wife. Shortly after, Rickard arrived on the scene. 
From a distance, he saw Handon and thought it was Kelder. So he shot him in retaliation for the credits Kelder had cheated him out of in their business. Handon would have dropped his blaster, the one we found at the scene, covered in blood. He probably thought Rickard was going to kill him, so he called us, hoping he could convince us it was Rickard. That is enough. The culpability of both of you in the murder and attempted murder of Calder Nettick is evident. Additionally, Rickard Lusoff can be charged with aggravated assault and attempted murder of Handon Gold. I place you both under the arrest of the Jedi Order, and I will escort you to the holding facilities in the Jedi Enclave. You have done well here. It is obvious you have been studying your lessons carefully. I will be sure to inform the Jedi Council of your performance in this little test. Good day, and may the Force be with you. Booyah! So much experience out of that. Not enough to level. Still a lot. Still a lot. Alright, so they got brought over here so I can just really go over there. Cross the bridge. Over to this side. Where I shall find trees and rocks and more cat hounds. Of course I do. Alright, well, I'm all healed up. I don't need to worry about shit. Let's go murder. At Wait, wait. Now we go murder. Had to make sure it got close enough to not murder mainly me. Ooh, nice hit. Awesome. Now we got a level. Hell yeah. Skills. Uh, let's add some to treat injury because I need it. Um, let's add some to computer use as well because... Let's face it, Mission isn't going to really be doing computer use all that much. Uh, she's mainly going to be in demolitions, awareness, and repair. So, yeah, that works. Actually, I can probably pull back a little bit on Treat Injury. And put it into something else. Persuade. Sounds like a good idea to me. Alright. Works. Uh, powers. Where should I put it? Where should I put it? Um, I could put it in the Force Whirlwind. Or I could upgrade these a little bit. Stasis and Disable Droid. So, Light Side Power. Huh. One third of the attacking character's level in damage. This is just a stun. I would prefer to have something that does actual damage. So I guess we'll go with Whirlwind. Technically, Push also has damage, but... This works. This works as a uh, dot, if anything. A nice, wonderful dot. Cannot turn that down. Alrighty. And I notice more Mandalorians. I'm a, I'm a probably safety save. I have a feeling I'm going to need it. Cool, alright. Let's do it. Hi there. Ah. Uh. So this is the meddler. Uh -huh. You have caused us far too much trouble for a mere Jedi. Yep. I will add your head to those of the other Jedi I have killed and take yet another lightsaber for Oh, you have lightsabers. Now you know why the Mandalorians are feared. Or I'll just take the other lightsaber. That's an idea. I like that idea. Let's use Force Whirlwind. Ha <laughs> ha! It worked. Actually, let's not use it on you. Let's instead use it on you. There we go. And we're gonna do some damage to you. There we go. All right. Oh, that's not good. Uh, whirlwind you again. Damn it. 
Alright, well. Okay. This is not going well. Uh, let's add that. Add that again. And then... Do that. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I, I might be able to pull this out. I might be able to save this after all. Okay, there we go. Oh, no. Yep. This is... This is definitely not happening. <laughs> well, that was embarrassing. Okay. Okay. Take two. <laughs> Alrighty. Let us try this again. This time with the shield on. Ah, so this is the meddler. Yep, I'm the meddler, and I'm going to take the lightsaber from you. Uh, first, I'm going to do this to your buddy here. And then I'm going to do this to your buddy over here. And then I'm going to take out this guy. And then I'm going to take out this guy. Oh, really? Didn't work at all, huh? Okay, well. I should absolutely be helping her out a little more. Okay. Hey! I lost an item? That's weird. Alright. Okay, let's take out that Duros warrior before he becomes a pain in my ass. There we go. And we're going to take care of you. Perfect. And... No remains I can get from here. But... From the Mandalorian. Hey! 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 Couple lightsabers. One that's red, too. That's odd. Container is empty. Alright, fair enough. Uh. Huh. Well, I used up that one shield. Uh oh. <laughs> I might as well use up some of these shields while I'm at it. Uh, lightsaber. Let's go with blue. <laughs> Alrighty, so. Uh, let's check out the belt. Huh. That actually does a lot more in fortitude save. Which I don't need. Huh. Maybe... Zalbar could make do with that more. I mean, seems about right. Alright, and there's nothing I can do with implants for, uh... <laughs> for her, unfortunately. Uh, but... We have another lightsaber. <laughs> We're gonna have some fun. Okay. Whoop. Okay. I did get the backpack emptied, I guess. So, uh, yeah, we're done. We're done with this area. And heal up a little bit. Uh, I don't think I need to do much else. The Mandalorian Raiders have been dealt with. He liked to collect lightsabers and surely would have taken yours and your head had you not slain him. John will surely like to hear of this and should reward you as well. Uh, that's already dealt with. That's dealt with. Um, yeah, most of these are dealt with. Cool. All of that is done. Now I could actually skip with the uh da, 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 da. with the return to the imp and the hawk 
and get back that way. But I kind of want to do it the old-fashioned way. Because, uh, why not? Let's, uh, take out the Cath Hound. As in another little opportunity to get more... More experience. Plus, test out the other lightsaber a little bit more. There we go. Oh, I'd have no way to cure myself. And the shield's about to wear off from the look of it. It's only a matter of time. Let's go to the metallic grounds. There we are. Huh. There's still more of these. I'm starting to wonder if this is just free XP for me to use. I'm starting to wonder. Really? I'm missing every single time? Okay, there we go. About to say, I call shenanigans. Alright, so... I've already checked over there. And over there. Huh. Ah, well. Guess no more uh, crystal caves. Boo. Boo. Want more green crystals. Hmm. Oh well. I guess I'm fine. I guess I'm fine with what I have. I guess I'm fine. More of them, huh? Alrighty. Surprised that there's so many of them out here, but alright. I don't know why the uh, screen was flashing other things like that, but that's fine. What the fuck? Not sure what that was about, but okay. Okay. Perfect. Took a little bit of damage, not enough to really be concerned about. And here we are. Back in the courtyard, I think? No. Wait, yes I am. Why are there cat hounds here, of all places? Oh, I guess we are still technically on the outskirts of the courtyard. There we go. Any more of them? Any more of them I need to take out? Eh. Yeah. I think we're good. I had to double check the map. To make sure I'm going the right direction. Alrighty. Now let's talk to you. Because you had some freaky things going on my with your robot. Is still missing. I can feel him like a hole in my aching heart. Uh-huh. Uh... I found your droid, but he had been destroyed by cath hounds. My droid? Destroyed? No. No, this cannot be happening. I can't bear to live without him. <sighs> Had to lie. Had to lie to... Hopefully... Send her in the right direction. Let's talk to, uh, Adam Lark. Let me see what you're selling. Uh, not a lot of good stuff, honestly. Not a lot of good stuff. At least not enough good stuff. Uh, let's see what I can sell you. I don't really need a lot of these anymore. So I'll sell those. Um. I'll keep that. I'm going to keep that. Sell that. Uh, I might keep the heavy blasters. Yeah, I might keep these. 
uh, blaster carbine. There's really no difference. Just gonna sell that in one of these. The disruptor, I guess I can sell one of those. Uh, concussion grenades have been fairly useful. I have frag grenades. I might keep those around. Uh, don't really need the adrenaline amplifier as much, but I guess I'll hold on to that. Uh, the cardio regulator might be good. I don't need this. Um, those are pretty nice to have in the back pocket. Uh... I'm not really seeing anything else I really need specifically. But it'd be nice to hold them. Just just in case. Alright, let's have talk you found to John. The Mandalorian Raiders yet? Yes, we have. I fought and killed their leader. Thank you, young master. My daughter can now, I think, rest in peace. Here is Good. the reward I promised you. Thank you, John. Again, I thank you. I will be sure to tell the council of your great deed. And 1,000 credits. Hello. Good, good shit. You didn't have to, man. You didn't have to. But it is great you did. Thank you. There we go. Heal up a little bit. And we head inside. Wow, the shield is lasting a long time. A lot of time, a lot of time longer than I thought it was going to. Still. Still, huh? Balea! Hi there. You have done a great thing. One of our own had strayed, but you have returned Juhani to the Order. Yes, I did. For this, you deserve the highest praise. Thank you! Thank you very much. I feel like I do deserve it. I must give you my thanks. Because of you, I am once again welcome within the Jedi Order. You're welcome. <laughs> Belaya's kind of freaking out on her path thing there. Uh, have you spoken to the council? I have spoken to the council, and they have helped me see the truth. The truth about myself, and the truth of my actions. Quatra's injuries were not so severe as I first believed. I was foolish to believe I could harm a master such as she with my, my clumsy efforts. The fierce confrontation between us was nothing more than part of my training. Quatra wanted me to understand the threat of the dark side, to see how easy it was to fall from the path of light. That's pretty harsh. Quatra's methods may seem strange, but I trust her wisdom. This lesson has been difficult, but I am better because of it. Humility True. is never easy to teach. But now, I truly understand my own limitations. After our last battle, Quatra had nothing left to teach me. I uh. needed time alone to explore the turmoil of my own spirit. Only then was I ready to follow a guide. You, back to the light when I left. Huh. I knew so I helped you. Done. There are other disciples who need training throughout the galaxy. And she could not stay to see if I passed this most difficult trial. With your help, I have passed this difficult trial. The council now feels I am ready to continue with my training. Though they have asked me to wait here for the time being. Hey. Okay. I'm glad to see you're not getting hung up on all this. The past is in the past, you know? <laughs> You have been given another chance to prove yourself. I hope you use it well. I do not know what the Council has in store for me, but I will trust in the Force and the way of the Jedi to help me through whatever is to come. Here's hoping. Here's hoping. But I'm glad that you understand that it was all a big test to fuck with your head. No. <laughs> that you, you understand it was all to try and better yourself more. Speaking of bettering yourself more, I'm going to better my lightsaber and thus myself more. Because I can! <laughs> okay, so my current lightsaber, whoopsie doopsie, green! Yes, my main hand. Shall also have Rubat and Bondar. There we go, and my other one will have a Rubat crystal. I don't have any other power crystals to add, so I guess that's it. Okay. I kind of don't want to do yellow, though. Ugh. I 
guess green and blue will do until I get the actual green crystal I want. It will do for now. If you hey, Bastila. You should direct them toward the Jedi Council members. <sighs> really? All right, all right. Bandar. It is good to see Master Bandar has returned to the way of the light. You are to be commended for your role in this. Thank you. Your actions give us great hope for the future. I'm Go glad. Go to and inform him that Johanni has returned to us. I think you may be nearing the end of your apprenticeship. Ooh? Maybe? Am I going to be a Padawan? You have done well, my pupil. The ancient grove has been purified, and Johanni's journey down the dark path has been halted. Because of you, she walks once more in the light. But though she was saved, do not dismiss what happened to her. Juhani is both dedicated and true to the ideals of the Order, yet she was still vulnerable to the dark side, as are we all. She Fair struck enough. her master in anger during her training and injured her greatly. But it was Quatra's choice to test Juhani this way, and it seems to have made its point. Juhani I has see. been redeemed, and you have passed your final test. Congratulations, Apprentice. Or should I say, congratulations, Padawan. You have proven yourself worthy of joining the Jedi. Let me be the first to welcome you as a full-fledged member of our Order. Thank you, Master Jar. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. We are now a full-fledged Padawan. A full-fledged Jedi. Look at me! <laughs> ah, that laugh is very concerning when you are a uh, Jedi, huh? <laughs> Alright, I had to. I had to. Now I'm done. Okay. Time to end the episode because... Oh boy! What a way to end it. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments if we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games. And now we're a full-fledged fucking Jedi after we solved a uh, dispute that also had elements of a lot of cheating involved that also culminated in murder and also dealt a lot with, uh, well, grief and loss and whatnot uh, for John and the lady who was fucking her robot in place of her husband for you. Yeah, I ended this episode real weirdly. What of it? <laughs> I don't give a shit. Like, I haven't w ended these fucking things weirdly before. <laughs>